these are red and blue litmus papers and they are the most commonly used indicators in laboratory and they are obtained from the extract of lichen. Uh, in this right hand side beaker there is dilute hydrochloric acid and in left hand side beaker there is solution of potassium hydroxide. This hydrochloric acid it is an acid and this is a base. We will see the color changes in this litmus paper. First red litmus paper let us dip it in an acid. See there is no change in its color. Now let us dip it in potassium hydroxide solution. Yes its color has changed red litmus paper has turned blue in a base. Now we have seen changes in red litmus paper. Now let us dip this blue litmus paper in acid. It has turned red. The blue Lal litmus Lal paper Lal turns Lal red Lal in an acid and now we will dip it in potassium hydroxide. There is no color change means blue litmus paper does not change its color in a base. Now we will use some homemade indicators. I have taken strips of homemade indicators. These are the strips of China rose flower, China rose uh, that is hibiscus flower. It is very easily available and these strips are made from this flower. And these are the strips made uh, by dipping paper strips in the paste of turmeric <clears throat> and I will show you how I made this China rose indicators. First rub petals of this China rose on a plain paper, plain white paper and after rubbing you may cut it into strips for using as an indicator. Now uh, we will use these chemicals for seeing color changes in these strips. First we will take strip of this china rose flower and dip it in an acid. It has turned pink thus this indicator turns pink in an acid and now let us dip it in a base. It has turned greenish it looks greenish in a base. Thus we have tested this. Now we will taste this turmeric indicator. First we will dip it in an acid. See there is no change in turmeric indicator. Now we will dip it in a base. See it has turned red because turmeric has curcumin which acts as an indicator and we see when we have some stain on our shirt it turns red when we add soap to it. Now instead of this laboratory, uh, laboratory chemicals we will use some household items. This is a lemon, it is rich in vitamin C. We have uh, taken lemon juice for tasting. In this bottle we have lemon juice which is also an acid. See now in this another bottle I have taken vinegar. Vinegar is also easily available. In lemon juice there is citric acid and in vinegar there is acetic acid. Now in this bottle there is soap solution. And in this fourth bottle there is solution of baking soda. These all four things are easily available at our home. Now we will taste for these homemade indicators. First this, this is lemon juice. In this second bottle there is vinegar. In this third bottle there is soap solution and in this 
fourth bottle there is baking soda solution. Now, we will have tastes for these different solutions in this lemon juice it turns pink, in vinegar it is also an acid, so it also turns pink. Now, we will dip this strip in soap solution, it is basic in nature. So, as we have already seen in base it turns greenish. It also depends on the strength if acid or base is strong the color change is seen clearly. Now, in this fourth bottle there is baking soda solution. In this solution also we will dip this strip turns little greenish but the color change is not so distinct. Now, we will taste for this turmeric indicators first in lemon juice no change in color. Now, in vinegar no change in color. Now, in soap solution it has turned red. Now, in this baking soda solution we will dip it. Here also we see it has turned red. Thus, today we have seen homemade indicators and we tested their color changes in very easily available solutions.